All right then, so now we can log in, we can log out and we can sign up new users. Now, I wanna show you something cool in this video. First of all, I wanna log out the state of the application in the navbar so it logs out everywhere we are. So let me go to the navbar and down here in map state to props where we have access to the store state, I'm gonna console.log the state. So let's save that and view the state over here in the browser. Now, if we take a look at this, we can see we have the Firebase property, right? And we have the auth property, we've seen this. We've seen that this stores information about the user, but this is the Firebase auth service. And remember, not all of the information is stored there. We have the email, we have the UID, but we don't have the first name, we don't have the last name, and we don't have the initials. And ideally, when a user is logged into our application, I'd like to access that information about them in case I need it. For example, the initials we need to output up here in the navbar. So how can I get this information? Well, if you remember, it's actually stored in Firestore inside a user document which corresponds to this user. And that user has the ID of this thing, that user document's ID is this, right? So we need to figure out a way to sync that document with that ID to our store state so that we can access it inside the state and we can use it inside one of our components. Now, this might sound like a lot of work and we have to go out and do some fetching from Firebase somewhere, but actually it's very, very easy to do. So if I close this, I wanna go further down here and you can see this thing right here, this property called profile inside Firebase still. Now at the minute, if we expand that, all we see is is empty, true, is loaded, false. So there's no profile data in here. But what the Firebase reducer can do for us that we have inside our project is automatically sync this profile object on the Firebase object inside our state. It can sync this with the document that we have for that user. And it knows how to get that document. It knows the ID of that document because it's just the same as this. That's why we use the same ID for the document in Firestore as we do for the authentication service for that user, okay? Now to set this up is very, very easy. All you need to do is go to your index.js file over here. This is where we apply the React Redux Firebase Enhancer, right? So what we need to do is just add a couple more properties into this configuration object. Now the first property I want to attach is use Firestore for profile. And we're gonna set that to true, make sure you spell that correctly. Okay, so what we're saying here is, okay, I want you, the Firebase reducer, to use Firestore, our database, to sync to the profile object on the state that we have over here. All right, that's what we're saying, we want you to do that. Now, by default, the Firebase reducer doesn't know which collection to go into. It could be a collection called profiles or users or members. We've called it users, but we need to tell the Firebase reducer or rather this enhancer that that's what that collection is called. So the second property I want to add on here is user profile. And here we say the collection name, which is users. All right, so we're telling it where to get the user profile from now. And we're saying we want to sync that document inside that collection with the profile object on the state over here. So now we've done that, let's save it and let's see what happens. Now, if we look inside the state now, inside Firebase and go to profile, now it's no longer empty, but we have that document loaded inside the profile. So now at any point, if someone's signed into the application, I can access their profile from this property, state.firebase.profile. That's cool, right? So now we could use the initials in the navbar to output them. So let's do that. Let's go now to the navbar. And we already have map state to props. We just want to add a new prop and that is gonna be called profile. And we'll set that equal to the state.firebase.profile like we just saw. So now we have access to the profile object. So let me grab that up here. I'm gonna destructure and grab the profile and then what I'll do is I'll pass that down into the signed in links because that, the signed in links is where we output the initials. So let's pass that as a prop. I'll say the profile is gonna be equal to the profile which we just grabbed, which is this thing. 
Now we could have mapped state to props directly inside this component, but I've chosen to do it in the parent component and pass it down as a prop. Now we have access to that now on our props inside this component. So instead of NN, let's output the profile dot initials. Oops, profile dot initials. Okay, so save that and view this in a browser and we get an error. It says profile is not defined. And that's because stupidly we need to say props.profile.initials. We're taking the props and it's on the props object. So save that and view this. And now we see LP. Awesome. Let's try logging in as someone else. Let's say Mario at the net ninja.co.uk and test one, two, three, four. And we should see MP. Voila. So this is all working and that is how we can access profile information using the Firebase reducer. Very, very simple indeed.